So if we begin by looking at planning your search, um, the first stage is obviously to create your PCOS and PCOS works well for adverse effects questions like it does uh, for effectiveness questions. And by PCOS, I mean uh, the populace, separating your uh, question into the population, um, such as diabetes, children, elderly, etc. Um, the intervention, be it a drug or a non-drug intervention. Ad adverse effects can occur with any type of intervention that has an effect, um, not just drug interventions. Although, as you will see, um, a lot of the research in the area of adverse effects methodology has concentrated on um, drug interventions. There's the, the C is comparator and the outcomes, which I think is the most interesting part of PCOS with adverse effects questions, um, is the adverse effects themselves. And it's quite rare that we search normally for outcomes with an effectiveness question. Um, however, that's not necessarily the case with adverse effects reviews. And of course, study design is uh, the last element of uh, the PCOS, which we'll be looking at. So let's look at these in turn, each part of the PCOS, and think about whether we would actually want to search on them when answering a question on adverse effects. I mean, obviously, it will depend on your review question and depend on the number of uh, records that you retrieve, how many elements you'd like to um, put into your search. However, there are lots of other things to consider. So for our population, for example, you need to think about uh, what your population is. And if you're actually only interested, for example, in a specific group, such as children, elderly, pregnant women, in which case it, it may be perfectly feasible to restrict your, your search to that particular group. There's also need to think uh, about the uh, condition, which is the other part of a uh, population. For example, um, diabetes, epilepsy. Um, so, so, so more like the disease or, or condition. And with adverse effects, it's, it's very interesting to think about this because um, an, an intervention may be used for more than one condition and the adverse effects may occur independent of the condition that they're given to treat. So for example, NSAIDs could be used for headache or arthritis, but the adverse effects could be the same independent of whether it's the headache it was given for or the arthritis um, that, that it was given for. So there's also, um, I like to think about whether all the records would actually mention the population. For example, we did a review in which not all the records did actually contain um, the, um, the population um, and concentrate more on the intervention and the adverse effect. So uh, the review that I'm um, referring to is one of uh, glitazones for diabetes and fracture risk. And um, not all the included studies actually um, mentioned diabetes. Uh, for example, we had one um, relevant paper that was entitled Fracture Risk with Rosaglitazone and Pyoglitazone Compared, but it didn't actually mention the, the term diabetes in the, in the title abstract or indexing. Um, it, it was just, just kind of assumed there that um, they meant uh, diabetes because that's the main thing that um, glitazones, uh, the main uh, condition for glitazones. But it, we wouldn't have retrieved it if we'd limited our search to diabetes. So after the P comes the I for intervention. And it's normally essential to search for the intervention. Um, I, I don't think I've ever not uh, searched for the intervention in any review. Uh, but just be, be careful if you're looking at a class of treatments uh, rather than a specific treatment, as a specific treatment may be associated with an adverse effect, but this may not be true of all the drugs in its class. So, so be, 
be careful of that. Next, we move on to the comparators. Um, and uh, these are, again, uh, rarely searched. Um, often, uh, they can be too numerous to search, um, particularly if you're searching for any comparator. Uh, if you're also including no comparator, that's almost impossible to search for. And uh, as you'll see when we come on to study designs, not all study designs have a control group and, and therefore have a comparator. For example, case series, case reports, single arm trials, etc. So next we have the outcomes is the next part of PCOS. Uh, so in outcomes is the most interesting part of the PCOS with an adverse effects question because the outcomes are the adverse effects, they're the outcome. But with a uh, adverse effects review, you, you may have what's known as a hypothesis generating review. And this is a review where you're looking for all the adverse effects associated with an, a particular intervention. And at the beginning of this review, you may not know which adverse effects you're searching for because that's the heart of your review. So you can actually, um, uh, um, do a bit of guesswork uh, and maybe uh, think about biological plausibility etc to to think about which which terms to use but you could also look at using generic adverse effects terms such as side effect harm adverse effect adverse event and, and we'll get um, onto this in more detail later now Adverse effects are often a secondary or even tertiary outcome um, of the um, research that you're looking at. And this leads to poor reporting in the titles, abstract and indexing of the bibliographical records on the databases, as it's not normally the main focus of the paper. Now, in the Cochrane uh, handbook, um, it, research is referenced, which indicates you'll miss quarter of all the uh, papers if you use um, adverse effects search terms in, in your search strategy. Um, however, more recent research has indicated that reporting of adverse effects is actually improving and that um, more recent studies indicate that it's between four and eight percent of studies that you will miss if you add adverse effects terms. And obviously this again it comes to um, how many papers you're getting, how many hits you're getting from the searching. Um, you may not be getting that many with just if it's a rare intervention, so you may not add the outcome terms, but if it's completely un unmanageable, um, then you might like to consider adding the outcome terms and, and thinking about best ways to minimize um, the, the number of studies that you're going to miss, which I say uh, could be between four and eight percent. So study design, the last part of PCOS, should you search on study design? Well obviously this depends on your inclusion criteria and whether you're limiting by study design. Um, it's often the case that a range of study designs may be relevant for a review on adverse effects and not, not just um, randomized control trials. Because randomized control trials can often be too short in duration of follow-up to find those long-term um, adverse effects. They can have a too small sample size for rare events, which thankfully most adverse effects are indeed rare. And they also uh, can often exclude patients most susceptible to adverse effects, such as children, pregnant women, people with comorbidities, et cetera. So it's often the case that you're wanting to retrieve a range of um, study designs. Now, uh, search filters for randomized control trials actually work quite well, and there's been a lot of very good research in, de in developing um, randomized control trial filters. But filters for non-ICTs don't work as well. Um, the terminology is, is much more varied um, and much more likely to be incorrectly used. Uh, and that, although there are filters out there, they don't work as well. 
and obviously if you're searching for all study designs that, that there's no no point in in adding all those terms to your search strategy so in conclusion um, um the PCOS is a useful way of formulating your question for an adverse effects review um, and it's often the case that you'll end up searching for just the intervention and the outcome. Not always the case, but uh, it's often uh, the way. Now, if you're searching for the outcomes, as I say, you could be missing four to eight percent of your um, records. So it's really important to get that search for your outcomes the best it can be so that you're minimizing the number of studies that you're missing. <clears throat> 